Universal Effects Consultants. We, as Universal Effects Consultants, we are the leading consultants firm in Africa providing knowledge related forex trading. So we have our office here in Lusaka, if you are in Lusaka, and we have our offices at across major cities in Africa, major cities in Africa. So if you want to learn more about Forex market, you're always welcome to even visit our office. So today I just want to show you some few things about uh, uh, some other simple strategies that can help you become a good trader or you can start using it to perfect your analysis in this case. So I will be talking about uh, support and the resistance. So I'll be talking about support and the resistance support and the resistance so i'll start first of all with support you know just like the name itself suggests support it is one of a, a base way of looking at what the price is going to do so when you're focusing on support it means it is supportive it is supporting something are we clear just like the way you sit on a seat that chair supports your weight in case it breaks, your next support becomes a floor. So as well, price does have support. In this case, it means if we were going down, okay, like that, then the price fails to go below that particular price, then it is now building what? A support in this case. So we call this area a support. Support is a particular area where the price was going down but failed to go below that area. Okay, that is what you call a support. So as a good trader, you must be able to identify support. When you identify support, it is going to help you gauge yourself very well towards knowing what the price is going to do next. Let's keep on still focusing on support. So how do you identify that one is a strong support? One number one thing, a support must have been a resistance before. Resistance. It should be a support. It must have been broken down by a big candle. A big candle. You see? It should be a support before. It must have been a resistance before. It should be, have been broken down by a big candle. That is what necessitates that particular zone to be a strong support i hope you're getting this very well so uh if i was to just graph it just an example we have something like this let's say uh we had this as a support so we want to know is this indeed a strong support we've said it should have been broken down by a big candle it should have been a resistance okay it should have been sometimes back even a support are we clear? So all of this area, that zone is a strong zone, meaning when you look at this price, you'll be able to graph, sorry, you'll be able to say that this market is on a strong zone and what you're looking for is a price, price to bounce back unless it breaks it with a big candle down. That's when you can say, so what? It is going to look for another zone, another support just like that i hope you're getting this very well so i hope you've learned something from this simple illustration a support for you to be able to know that this is a strong support you must be able to check what happened previously was it a strong support was it a strong resistance and what is it that is going to do next the same applies to when you're talking about a resistance i hope i'm not taking you very fast but i hope you're learning something from this so what is a resistance resistance don't worry about that i hope you can see it's still resistance to resist okay just like when you're inside a room and then there is some other extra floors above you for you to ex access the other floors you only have a uh, lift to use or the stairs but in this case if you are to use this roof it means you have to break it for you to reach the second floor and now in your case as a trader the market as well does have the roof, the resistance, where the price is failing to go above that resistance. So when you're looking at the price, we expect the price to bounce back. This is our resistance. So we expect the price to do what? To go down. So how do I know that this is a strong resistance? 
just like the same principles you're going to follow on the support or you had followed the support are the same ones that are going to guide you here it must have been a resistance before okay it must have been let's say broken down by a big candle it must have been a support before are we clear so if you draw this rectangular line then that tells you that that is what a strong resistance you're expecting the price to do what to go down because it is failing to break that zone that was just a simple presentation on how to go about support and resistance thank you so much for listening to me my name is kennedy from universal fx consultants you can like our our, our you can like all our socials you can Click on the notification bell on our YouTube and subscribe to always be updated. Thank you so much and goodbye.